So this is spyware remover software. This is probably one of the more graphical uh, spyware remover softwares there are. So it's it's quite nice to look at. It looks very user friendly. Um, so running through the basic operation uh, from this screen, you can select scan locations. Um, so you can just tick them all, or else you can select uh, individual drives and then even subpaths. Um, you've got um, live update, uh, which is which is fairly handy. Uh, if we go to the settings list, it's got sort of the same settings as most other applications. These you've got auto update options, uh, which is which is a good feature. Uh, start spyware remover when Windows starts. You can turn that on or off depending whether you want it to always scan every file that's being loaded on your computer. Um, you can log uh, everything that happens. That will that will consume some resources. You might want to turn that off if you're not really interested in finding specific details about what the spyware scanner is doing. Um, and here's the the other options. These are probably major options. They're not really highlighted as major in this application, but they're still here. So scan active processes uh, that will scan everything that you're actually doing all the time. So every time you load a file, it will scan it. So if you find your computer's running slow, you can turn that off. Uh, scan Windows registry. So any changes to the web registry that it detects as malware or spyware, it will alert you. Uh, scan cookies. Some cookies are for tracking. It can stop those. And scan files. You also have these options for deep scan files and deep scan all drives. These are the difference between this program and other programs is that this is more. This is an option you either turn on or turn off permanently. Whether where other applications you sort of select either to do a quick scan or a, a full thorough scan when you're actually doing the scan. Uh, and it has a an option here to upload suspicious files to anti-spyware net. So that means uh, uh, that's a good feature because it means that other people have uploaded files to anti-spyware net and as such the database grows automatically and from users. So it's it means that the, the scanner is more effective. It's not specifically relying on the editors to add updates and um, definitions for spyware. It means it's it's usually always being updated by the user end. So it's um, the the quarantine list is updated faster. You also got this uh, ignore list. This um, this is for applications it might pick up which you know aren't spyware. Uh, you can put, um, you know, a funny thing, most of these uh, spyware applications will actually pick up other spyware applications as being spyware. So I think that's more of a marketing thing than a, actually a spyware thing. But anyway, I've got quarantine lists. So and a lot of the other applications don't have this quarantine list uh, feature. So every time it does pick up a, a spyware or malware threat, it will add it to here. Um, so it'll actually um, it'll actually quarantine those files, and then you can choose whether to restore them if you know that they're not spyware, or totally remove them. Uh, once you've done that, we go back to the scan screen, and you just click start scan. So this is more it's more of a it's more graphical. This software, the options are more of just of a, a tick box type. You know, you just uh, they just turn on or turn off. So the options are fairly basic. It doesn't seem to include a startup manager software for this. It seems specifically for scanning for spyware. Okay, so the scan has finished and it's picked up 152 items. It did pick up one malware um, item, which um, some of the other scanners didn't pick up. Um, so this has looked like it picks up a, a fair few more than some of the other scanners. A lot of it is just cookies. Um, and then there's a few registry entries there, adware, um, all from the same software it looks like. Um, so if you've used spyware remover uh, yourself and you, um, you've, had, you've got good thoughts or bad thoughts about it, then put a comment below and um, let us know what you think.